Welcome back to our tutorial on updating firmware using the ID Rack 9 web interface. Before we begin, make sure you've downloaded the necessary firmware files from the provided URL. Go to the URL provided in the description. Once you're there, locate the option to enter your server's service tag. This will help you select and download the required firmware files. I will download the BIOS and ID Rack firmware files from this location to my local computer. Once you have the firmware files ready, let's proceed to update your system. Start by logging into the ID Rack 9 web interface. You can verify existing BIOS and ID Rack version details on dashboard. Inside the ID Rack 9 interface, navigate to the Maintenance tab. From there, select System Update and click on Manual Update. On the Manual Update tab, you'll see various options. Choose Local as the location type. Now, click on Choose File and select the firmware image file you have downloaded earlier. In this lab session, we'll be updating both ID Rack and BIOS firmware files, so I will upload both files. If the upload was successful, you'll see a plus icon next to the firmware image file name. If it's a firmware that requires a system reboot, you'll see options like Install and Reboot or Install Next Reboot. For firmware that doesn't require a reboot, ID Rack only display Install option. If I select BIOS Update Only, you can see options Install and Reboot or Install Next Reboot. But when I select ID Rack, it will display Install option only. I will select both files on this lab session and click options Install and Reboot. If you're curious about pending updates or want to monitor the progress, you can click on the Job Queue option. This page provides insights into your ongoing firmware updates and allows you to manage them effectively. Once you initiate the updates, the system will automatically process the firmware updates one by one. This ensures a seamless and hassle-free update process. Now you can see the ESXi host rebooting and initiating the BIOS update process. On the Job Queue page, you can see that the BIOS update and reboot are 100% completed, and the ID Rack update is in progress. Now ID Rack is rebooting and you need to re-logging to ID Rack.
Your ID rack and BIOS firmware have been successfully updated. You can verify the updated versions to ensure everything is up to date and functioning optimally. That wraps up our tutorial on updating firmware using the ID Rack 9 web interface. Keeping your system's firmware current is essential for optimal performance and security. Thank you for watching, and feel free to reach out if you have any questions. Stay tuned for more informative tutorials.